Hey guys, it's your girl Ashley here. So instead of doing a uh, review it Sunday, I thought what I would do for you guys is do a wrap up Sunday, a monthly wrap up because I finished one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books this month. Seven. That is crazy for me. That never happens. Um, I was just on a reading roll and I'm still on a reading roll because I'm going on to the next book in this series. Um, but I read some amazing books, so let's get started. The first one I read was, uh, The Duke and I, um, or known as the Bridgerton series. This was a series on Netflix, and it's very, very good. It's getting a season two. Um, this follows Daphne and her family and all the high society stuff, and it was really good. Um, I liked it. I wa read this first before I watched the Netflix series just because I kind of wanted to and I loved the Daphne in the series. The Daphne in the book I didn't know. I like the Daphne in the book. The series Daphne I did not like. I thought she was so dumb and just unlikable um, and so naive. Like I just like, she didn't know about sex, and I'm like, how did you not know about sex? I knew, knew about that way before I was 14 years old. Like, how do you not know about that? Um, maybe it's the time of the, the age. I don't know. But I did like it. I am excited to read Anthony's book. Um, I really liked Penelope, I think is her name. Um, she was amazing. She's a plus-size character. It's awesome to see plus-size represent representation because you don't really see that much. Um, and it was really good. I cannot wait to read their story. Um, I ordered the second book of this off of eBay and the seller scammed me. So I did not get the second book in to read in time. So I'm going to go get the other books after this for next month. Um, and definitely continue with series. Really, really good. I think I gave that, let me look at my books. Cause I have a print, I have everything printed out, everything I read. I think I gave that five stars. I gave that four stars. Here's all the books. Um, four stars. Because it's slow at, slow at times. Now, after that, I read this book, which I got from my bestie, Vanessa, for Valentine's Day. And that's The Project by Courtney Summers. I already have a review on my channel about this. I got pre-order swag. So I got these stickers. And I got a signature. This was such an amazing book. I love Courtney Summers books. I preferred Sadie over this one, but I gave this one four stars because nothing can beat Sadie. It's so good. Um, again, I listened to all these through audio. I think it's the best way to read. Um, and yeah, this was about a girl who um, is trying to find her sister and there's like cult and it's really good and blissfully bookish uh does have shirts with the project and the unity logo on on it if you were interested um but i'm not going to talk about much about that because it's on my review so you can see it if you click my review sunday um playlist you'll see all the books i reviewed so far then after that i read the witch's heart by genevieve Gornochi? I'm not sure how, how to pronounce it. I did have a talk with her on Instagram. She's an amazing person. She's so awesome. She's actually going to sign, send me a signed book plate because I love this book so much and reviewed it. This was so good. This was, I believe I gave it five stars. Yep, five stars. And this follows a witch and Loki and their kids and everything. And again, there's another review on my channel, so I'm not going to talk much about this. But it was so, so good. Um, I absolutely loved it. And then the next one I read was The Warrior God by Eliza Rainey and Ro Rose Wilson. This is book one of the Aries Trials. I got this for a Christmas gift from my gaming husband, Jeremy. Um, I can cannot wait for this. Well, the second one's already out. The third one's going to be coming out, I believe, the end of March. But I'm not sure if it's going to be a paperback or if it's just going to be Kindle first. But I adore these two authors. I adore the mythology and the Greek mythology that they that they weave into these stories. It's so good. This is following Ares, who is the god of war, and he's lost his power. And the only way for him to get it back is 
by meeting up with the goddess of war, which her name is, why can't I think what her name is? I read this a while ago, so I do not know what her name is. Uh, what is it? Belle. So she is in anger management and she's trying to learn how to control her anger and stuff. And Ares breaks in, takes her counselor and is like, I'm going to kill you. And then it doesn't happen. And he doesn't kill her, obviously. But then they have to go do the Ares trials. And basically they're trying to, they have to do pain. I forget what it says. It's like pain, something and something. It's like three trials um, to get their power, to get their powers back. And Zeus does not know. None of the gods know that he lost his power because if he did, it'd be, it would be a problem. And so far, it's good in the series. I have to say, I absolutely love the, what's it called? The Hades um, power. I think it's the power of Hades or the Hades trials. I love those books a lot better than this. I kind of feel like they're kind of rewriting the story, but just putting these two characters in. I loved Hades and Persephone retellings. That one is amazing. Check out my channel below. I did do a review, a review at Sunday on, on the whole series. It was so good. But this one was pretty good too. I think I gave it four stars, I think. Yeah, four stars. Then I finished another book, which isn't here. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Oh, so I read, how many books did I read this month? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight books I read. Sorry, eight books. Um, I read Loki, uh, Where Mischief Lies. You haven't seen this yet because this is going to be in my review, in my uh, book haul for February. My lovely fiance got it for me for Valentine's Day, and I love this book. I loved this book so much. It was so fun to learn about Loki as like a younger Loki. And I see all the troubles and trials he has. I absolutely love Loki. He's one of my favorite Marvel superheroes. I know he's technically not a good guy, but I just think, uh, I just love him. Um, and I can't wait for his series to come out in Disney+. Plus. I'm so excited for that. But this basically follows him. He does something where he gets sent down to Midgard, which is Earth. And he has to find out who is murdering these people. And are they actually dead? Is it magic? What is it? It was so good. Um, Mackenzie Lee, I've never read a book by her, but this was so good. And she's coming out with a next book in, I think it's June. It's called Gamora and Nebula, The Sisters in Arms. Definitely want to read that because this was so much fun. I can't wait to read that. And in, Lo in this one, they made Loki a little bit, I don't know if he is bisexual or if he's gay. I don't know. Um... I want to say he's bisexual in this and it's kind of cool to see that re representation in this um it's actually a really amazing book and i was so surprised because when i picked this one up before I picked this up in hardcover when it first came out and i didn't like it but i gave it another shot because i've been re-watching all the marvel movies and stuff and i love this book so much five stars then i went on to reading this book if i disappear by eliza jane Fraser. This is a, I think this is her first novel. Uh, hold on. So If I Disappear is going to be for television. They're going to put this into a, ser into a TV series, which is pretty good, or a TV movie. Um, this book I got from my friend Lori, um, and it was amazing. Um, it says when her favorite, this is all you need to know. This is all I knew and I'm not going to really spoil it for you or tell you anything in details because go into it blindly. It says when her favorite true crime pro podcaster host goes missing and a drift young woman sets out to investigate and plunge headfirst into the wild back country of Northern California in her own dangerous obsession. So she is obsessed with this podcaster and this podcaster has gone missing and this podcaster that does tr uh, true crimes. And I can't remember the name of the person. Uh, hold on. I'm not sure. I think it's Rachel's the one that's the podcaster, but I can't remember what the girl's name is. That is Sarah. Sarah loves true crime. Rachel goes missing and Rachel is the owner of the podcast. She is so desperate to find her and thinks something goes on. Something's wrong with her. So she follows her back to her home country. Well, her, her home. Um, I think it says, what does it say? In California and finds this really creepy ranch and that's where her parents are 
and she's trying to figure out clues to find out what happened to Rachel. Is she really missing? What's going on? Twists and turns in this book. Oh my god. The only thing is a downfall to me is I did not know it was written in third person. So when I, when I mean third person, like it will start out like, let me find it. Every morning when I wake up, the cries of the baby next door, I, I turn you on. In the dark of the room, the smell of dog that lives here before you tell the story. Nine years old, like she's talking to you. And I hadn't really read a book like that. So it was a little bit kind of weird, but it was amazing. I kept wanting to read it, kept wanting to find out. The cliff, not a cliffhanger, but the twist in the book. A lot of people didn't like it. A lot of people want to throw their books. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. I'm very confused about it because I don't know how she would have ended it any other way. So, but it was really good. Like, if you definitely have read this book, please let me know down below. The cliffhanger, not cliffhanger, but the twist in this story is crazy. Just like if you guys have read uh, Verity by Colleen Hoover. Twist like that is crazy twist like this in this book. Did not see it coming. So I got that and I read, I think that was four stars. Just because how it was written, but it was still a good book. Yeah, four stars. Then I decided to read Fable by Adrian Young. I got Fable um, for a, I think it was a Halloween present. No, it was, it was a best friend anniversary um, gift from uh, Vanessa. And I had gotten it and I was like, okay, I'm going to read it. But then I found out it was going to be a duology. So I'm like, oh, I'll wait till it comes out. So then I found out that it's coming out this month, the 16th, I believe. So I picked this up. I read this in two days and it's not thin, but it ain't thick either. Like I, I it's, it's a good, good book. Um, basically it follows this girl named Fable. She is a a dredger which goes down under the water and like mines for like gems and stuff and she can like speak to the gems know if they're real and stuff she uh was on a boat with her dad saint and her mom and the boat got into this really bad storm and she watched her mom die like drown in the, in the ocean her dad takes her to an island literally leaves her there and takes off and never comes back so she has to fend for herself and she meets a lot of crazy people has a lot of crazy stuff goes on um the cliffhanger in this book how it ended i need book two now like i definitely need, need book two right now give it to me i need to know what happens to fable I need to know what happens to west give me this book now um and i think i related a lot to her because her dad i think he wants the best for her but like he leaves her on the island and says she's not made for this world and takes off and then you know, I don't really know my step, my real dad. Um, I met him a couple of times, but other than that, he never talks to me. I never see him. The last time I saw him was on the side of a highway when I was turning 21 and I'm 33 now. So yeah, I don't really have that good relationship with my dad. So I understand where she's coming from. Um, I don't necessarily know if I think Saint's a bad person. I think he does what he does to protect her and love her, but I don't know. So I definitely want to get book two. It was amazing and I cannot wait. All right. And the last book I read and just finished, I just started this yesterday and I, and I finished it. And that's a reread of Shadow and Bone uh, by Lee Bardugo. I got the a new edition. I love this cover so much more than, than the other one. This book is so good. I am reading this because as you guys know, the Netflix series is coming out in April. I cannot wait for it. I'm so super excited for it. When I watched the trailer, I was kind of like, not as excited as a lot, of, a lot of people were because I don't remember what happened. Because I read the, this series and Six of Crows and Crooked Crooked Kingdom like a long time ago. I think it was like two years ago. So I forgot what happened because Lori bought me the first book when I had first like met her when we first started talking. So she bought me the first book and I loved the first book so much. And then she bought me the other two in the series. And I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I fell in love with it. And it's so weird because when I tried reading this as like back in the day, before I knew about audiobooks and stuff, I couldn't connect with the characters. I couldn't connect with the names. It was all throwing me off. But audiobook, Audible has saved me. And I love this story so much. I think I like Crooked Kingdom and Six of Crows. Sorry, Six Crows and the Crooked, Crooked Kingdom better than the trilogy of uh, Shadow and Bone, but I still love it all. Love it all. I cannot wait for the series. But this book, if you have not read it, definitely pick it up. It's a quick, quick read. 
it's an amazing immersive world i believe it's focused on like russian folklore but it's so good it it's basically when they asked her how she came up with this book she was like what if you were in the dark and you realize that monsters lived in the dark and you could fight them on their own territory and it was like so cool but basically this follows alina starkoff she is a map maker and she has a best friend named mel they were both orphans and in this world there's called these magical people called grisha you can be a corporal elkai material elkai and the ethereal i don't know how to say that um material elkai and they're all basically magic people like the corporal corporal elkai which is what i would be is like the um he, not the healers but what are they called well there are healers but they're called heart renders they can literally like turn your organs off just by like magic um and then the material ones they can do crazy like necklaces and uh steel and knives and stuff and then the ethereal elkai pull on the elements so there's like a fire one a tide bringer like those those are the people and now in this world there is a thing called the fold it's basically a line of blackness and it's cut the whole like country in half pretty much and you go in, you go through the fold, like, on skiffs, which is basically boats with, like, no, you know, just a boat um, going over the sand. You will hit these things called Volcra. Volcra are the scariest things I've ever heard in my life. They are, like, birds with, like, huge claws, and they scare the shit out of me. <laughs> um, so, basically, when you go over, go into the fold, they come out, and they pretty much attack you. So... Alina and Mel and a couple other people are trying to get across the fold to go to the other side of the um, fold. Because like it's, it's basically this, you go through and then you get to get to the other side. So as she's doing that, she they get, they get attacked by Volcra. And she will do anything for Mel. Mel's her love. She'll do whatever she can for him. So she puts herself on top of him and all of a sudden a beam of light streaks out of her. And she clears the darkness. Like, it's still there, but they get they get across the uh, void and it's done. They find out she's called a sun summoner. Which, no, there's not really many sun summoners that I know of that are in this book. So she is, like, really, really valuable. And she can help get across the darkness, the uh, fold. Now, the Darkling, which he's a shadow summoner, he is supposed to be bad and but I really like him a lot I like him a lot, a lot better than than Mal Mal to me just seems like your typical cinnamon bun character um or cinnamon roll character and I just I like the darkness I like the, the grittiness I like the evilness I guess um so the darkling is kind of like that and he needs her to basically help him get rid of this fold get rid of the darkness and end you know it forever that's what you think it's not really what happens but that's what you think and the stag on here is so representative of the book perfect imagery because she um needs an amplifier to get her powers to come out um like full force and she needs this this the stag she needs the antler from the it's called the moritza stag and it's been like a fable no one's ever gonna catch him but it's so good this book is just amazing. Five stars. I absolutely love it. Please check it out. If you haven't checked it out, check it out before you watch the Netflix series. You'll get more context. Um, you have to read this before you read Six of Crows. I mean, you don't have to, but if there's references you won't get if you don't read these series, if you don't read these, um, this trilogy real quick. But yeah, that is everything that I read this month, which your girl killed it this month. Like, let me see. I don't know if I can lift it up. Hold on. There we go. So proud of myself. I never really read that many books and your girl killed it. Um, so yeah, I will be back with my book haul. Um, that will probably go up, I want to say maybe March 1st because that's when my Owl Crate will be here and that's technically in a February book. Um, or I may just film it sun Sunday and put it up Sunday. We'll see. Um, I know most likely it'll be on Monday. So hope you guys liked this quick wrap up um like i said if you have ever read any of these books leave them down below and i'll talk to you guys later. like i always say they love the hot rocks and we see you guys bye guys